Today I want to talk about studying overseas or studying in India. What are the pros and cons? You know, most of you know that I did my master's in engineering in Australia. But the reason why I had to go was after my bachelor's, I wasn't able to find a job and also not smart enough to find a good course that I can do in India. The only way I could go progress in my career was to find a course which I happened to find overseas. So I want to start with the disclaimer saying that I'm not going to specifically say that you must study or work in a foreign country. I think whether you're working or studying overseas or whether you're studying or working in India, success can come in both ways and neither of them guarantee a better success. Because the amount of people now who are successful in India is much, much more. But let me share with you some pros and cons for both. Now, when you go overseas and study, what are the pros? First of all, you're out of your country. You're out of your comfort zone. You just have to grow and develop yourself. You have no comfort to say you have parents or relatives or friends. You are on your own. So one of the pros is it really gets you out of your comfort zone and makes you a better human being. For sure. Number one. Number two is a new country. You learn new language. You learn a new culture. You learn new habits. And you start becoming better rounded as a person. So that is a second biggest benefit that I also personally got a lot out of living and working in Australia. The third point is sometimes if you find the best course, that's important. You got to find the right university and right course. The teaching methodology are excellent and you really become better in your subject that you are learning. So there are excellent universities overseas which can give you an edge over some of the Indian universities as well. When you do the right course, your methodology itself, your learning mindset itself changes. And that's the biggest thing I found. Doesn't mean that we have not great universities in India, but you've got to choose the right ones. The other fourth benefit I find when you're living or working overseas is your mind opens up. You accept people. You know, before I left India, I used to always make sure my helper is only washing my, even the plate that I used to eat or the glass I used to drink a coffee or water. My driver used to open the doors for me when I used to sit in the car. But after living and working overseas, I started respecting everyone. I realized that everyone is equally at the same level as us and we should not be looking at status and symbols. Finally, you are forced in your overseas stint to do part-time work because you won't have money for everything. And when you do those part-time work, you have a lot of knowledge, practical knowledge. You understand how to handle money. And these things are definitely the pros. Now, what are the cons? I've seen many people, when they go overseas, they go crazy. They get into bad habits, they get into alcoholism, drugs, and they just spoil their life. The second thing is many people don't really adjust in a foreign environment at all. Because you've got to do everything yourself. You've got to clean the house, you've got to cook, you've got to go and study, you've got to wash the dishes. You got to go and pay the bills. You got to buy groceries, make sure there is enough food stocked. It's a lot of things. It's a combination of mom and dad and helper and cleaner and driver, everything yourself. And you won't be able to even afford a car in your initial days. So you may find it very difficult and you may start feeling homesick. It's the second biggest problem I found. The third one is not getting along with people as well. You know, they still stick to their Indian ways of doing things and which a lot of foreigners may not like. You know, I've even seen a lot of people, they don't keep themselves physically clean. You know, they may have a lot of body odor and this may irritate people. People may see you in a bit different way and they may kind of, you know, you may feel it as racism as well, which can happen. But in a lot of ways, it's just the way you are. They may find it difficult to accept you and this may bring in a lot of emotional pressure and anxiety for you as a person as well. Finally, you may not even get into the right course and do your education properly. You may just go overseas and busy doing part-time work just to earn money. If your goal to go overseas is just about making money, you should never ever go. It should be about holistic development. These are the pros and cons of working and living overseas. Now, when I talk about India, many of these you can apply here as well. So what I encourage is 
if you are from a particular state, go and study in a new state. Go and live alone. Go and be with people who are not like you. Try and get different experiences of smell, taste, culture, habits. Embrace this color around you. Even try and do part-time work even if you're studying in India. Don't depend upon your parents even for your monthly pocket expenses. All these things that I mentioned which can happen as a pros in overseas can be obtained in India itself. You don't have to worry that if you cannot afford to go overseas, my dear friends, you can get all of this in India without any problem at all. And the best part is you still have a comfort of your parents or relatives in a call away or in a couple of hours of travel away which is a big blessing and always keep your habits under check wherever you are doesn't matter whether overseas or India because you don't want to be under influence of bad people around you who can spoil your life and your career. But the biggest advantage of living and working in India my dear friends is the market. None of the foreign countries, I would say most of them at least, cannot offer the kind of opportunity that India gives you, the flexibility that India gives you, the kind of hustling that Indians do in India is much much more than what I have seen even for example in Australia. There when people study, they only study and do some part-time work. But here people hustle a lot. I've seen youngsters doing startups, working, gaining knowledge, teaching, making money, progressing in career. This India can offer you in a much much bigger exponential way which you would not be able to get. So I strongly recommend you getting these experiences because end of the day, every country in the world, every company in the world these days want to see India as an experience in their CV because it's a difficult market, tough market. And if your aim is just about earning money, you know, you can do it in a lot of ways, which is fair and unfair as well. But your focus in life should not be just about earning money. It should be about becoming better, gaining more knowledge, more skills, more competencies that will automatically bring a lot of money to your doors. And these days with virtual happening, you can even work for global clients from India and charge them more and still make a lot of bottom line for you as well. So don't get enamored by this glitz and glamour. You can always do your foreign trips as well to gain those same experiences as well. So my dear friends, Look at this video carefully before you choose to decide whether you want to be in India or overseas. A bit of both is always helpful and I hope this video helped you make some conclusion about your future. Till I speak to you all next time, stay fit, stay positive, but don't forget, always keep chasing obscene success. Thank you very much.